Greetings, programs. My name is Wretch, and I'd like to welcome you to a playthrough of a game that I've been wanting to do ever since I started the channel in June of 2014. I'd like to welcome you guys to Red Dead Redemption, my favorite game from the Xbox 360, PlayStation 3 era, and arguably my favorite video game of all time. To this day, when someone asks me what the definition of a good game is, Red Dead is one of the first things that pop into my mind. Um, I played Red Dead Revolver on the PS2, and when this game came out, I was expecting something very similar and was completely blown away by this beautiful, deadly world they created and the epic story that they told. And uh, since Red Dead Redemption 2 is coming out in 2018, it got pushed back unfortunately, I thought now would be a good time to go ahead and play Red Dead Redemption 1 and just kind of get a feel for the story and this world again. Now, unfortunately, Rockstar is kind of held true to not porting this over on PC, and I really don't like the streaming um, service that the PlayStation 4 has for um, playing this game and any other of the old gen games. So I was able to fix my old uh, 360, hook it up, and I think that we are in store for a really awesome adventure, guys. If you've never seen this game before, I think you're really going to like it. So let's go ahead and start on normal mode and get this going. Exodus in America. Now, for a little uh, background on me, I actually grew up really disliking westerns. Uh, my grandmother used to watch them all the time on TV, and I didn't really get the appeal to them. Because I grew up in the 80s and early 90s, so I had like Voltron and Exo Squad and Thundercats and Masters of the Universe, Mighty Max, Silverhawks, all this stuff. And, uh, oh man, that gives me goosebumps. I haven't played this game in a really long time. But I'll, I'll get more into that here in a sec. As you can see, times are changing in the Wild West. And if you guys have spent a lot of time playing Rockstar games and don't know who this guy is, um, you're in for a treat because this guy, John Marston, is normally voted as the best Rockstar protagonist of all time. And you'll definitely see why. But getting back into why I fell in love with Westerns, I had held off on Westerns, didn't like them growing up, and then finally my brother sat me down and said, you like good storytelling, so you need to watch this. And he popped a VHS uh, into the VCR and wa watched a little movie called Tombstone. And after that, I really started falling in love with westerns, particularly modern westerns, like Unforgiven and Wyatt Earp and Tombstone, Open Range, and Red Dead Redemption. And now I can't get enough westerns. Whenever a new one pops up, I tend to try to be one of the first people to watch it. I mean, just just look at this, man. Like, the design and just the world. Well, I, for one, am grateful, Mrs. Bush, that they are finally bringing civilization to this savage land. I could not agree with you more, my dear. My daddy settled this land, and I know he'll be looking down on us, pleased at how we help the natives. Yes, they've lost their land, but they've gained access to heaven. So with this train ride, we're kind of getting an idea of the world. Do you mean unless an innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, it hardly seems fair. Uh, what I mean to say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Yes, they lived like animals, but they're happier now. Oh. Mm. 
Not only do people now have motor cars, Father, but I heard that pretty soon we will be able to fly. No, only angels can fly, Jenny. No, no, apparently people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. Still haven't gotten the flying cars yet, Jenny. We're getting there, though. Apparently. Mr. Johns wants to run for governor, which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate Johns. Yes. His family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. I don't want to be judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently. The John's family have made a lot of money, and he has a lot of friends in politics. Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. You kind of get the idea that he's sitting between two worlds, and that's a very big theme in this game. What you must remember, my dear, is that we have been brought here to spread the word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. It is the opportunity we have, the chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other, and who let you worship in peace. Uh, it, it's so confusing, Father. Sometimes I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me if you need help. Indeed. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. <gasps> Armadillo. Now, I believe this area is called New Austin. If I remember the map. And here we go. Use LS to walk around, RS to look around. And you're going to see a ton of people just going about their day. This is really when Rockstar started playing around with stuff that you would later see in GTA 5. Well, he looks like he had a good time. Sometimes. I'm Jake. Your friends from Blackwater hired me to guide you. They ain't my friends, but pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. Basically gonna have to relearn how to play this entire game. Follow Jake to the horses. Now oh, he is still out on his feet, isn't he? I mean, just the sun and everything. Oh, Here, so pretty. Why to ride horse? Take it easy until we're out of town. Ain't no point and is in it? A there we go. Company Jake to Fort Mercer. Whoa. Whoa! Right button. There's the brakes. Look at this so game, guys. At the fort? I'm looking for an old friend. Well, like I says, you ain't gonna find many folk around those parts these days. Those you do find are about as sociable as an old three to back to. 
I mean, I ain't one to judge a man by the company he keeps, but... Well, he ain't been friends for a long time. So we're getting kind of an idea of why John is here. Are you planning on spending any time in Armadillo, Mr. Marston? I doubt it. I ain't planning on staying very long. Well, if you're fixing for some female company, you can do a lot worse than Armadillo. Fine as cream gravy they are. Not like Thieves Landing. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. I'm a married man, I'm afraid. Ain't we all? <laughs> But this actually made John a lot different than a lot of the Rockstar protagonists and to the fact that he doesn't want to uh, sleep with hookers or anything like that because he's married. Yeah, so it was the marshal who hired me, Lee Johnson. Do you know him? I think I heard his name. Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater pig bugs asking for a guide. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. Give me a... This actually looks like terrain I you live ain't here. You very talkative, are you? Nope. I'm just chewing the dog, mister. It's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me. There's things you better off not knowing. Damn coyotes. What a waste of good meat. Not far now, Mr. Marston. The fort's just over this hill. So holding B will allow you to look at important events that you're riding by. There's Fort Mercer. Listen, mister. This here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. I still think this game looks really pretty, even for a 360 game. I am so looking forward to seeing what they're going to do for it in Red Dead 2. Yeah. Approach Fort Mercer. Which looks like something from the old uh, Zorro TV series, to tell you the truth. Let's build some tension. was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. oh. Do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge! No more Dutch! And no more you! <sighs> implores. I, I implores you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well... Uh. Oh. <laughs> kind of like, what did he... What did he expect, you know what I mean? Mm. 
And the buzzards are never a good a good sign in the desert. But as you can see, we have some good Samaritans. Now, if she looks a little bit familiar to you, that mean that's because you saw her on the train. She had actually got up from behind those two old women who were talking and sat on another part of the car next to the priest and the young girl, probably because she couldn't stand hearing those women anymore. I would assume. New friends, old problems. Ain't that the way. But this actually starts a huge chain of events that the, the scale of this game is actually quite surprising. Because you think you're just taking care of one thing? No. It's the start of a long exodus. Or more of an odyssey, really. Well, you're alive. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was... Oh, I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. Should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr... Er, Mr. Uh, Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarlane. Miss Bonnie McFarlane. Hint, hint. You may be right, Miss McFarlane. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? I was trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. For old times' sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, miss. <laughs> you see my hat? I have. And, uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic. Just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. John doesn't like doing anything half-assed. <laughs> well, that's a fashionable-looking outhouse. So, here we are at the McFarland Ranch. This is technically counts as a town. And we gotta go join Bonnie at the house. As you can see, the railroad runs through the ranch, so that kinda tells you something. Even has its own uh, general store and... What we got? foreman's office where they lock up the criminals and we don't want to run too much because we'll just cause some bleeding to kick in Mr. Marston back in the land of the living I see figured it's about time I started paying back that $15 well no time to waste the horses are saddled up over here. Ten cents an hour. I like the fact that she's packing too, and that's not a dress, that those are actually pants. They look like samurai pants or There's martial art pants. Office. It's also where we lock up good for nothing outlaws, such as yourself. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. Okay, let's see if you can still ride a horse. Come on then, I'll show you around the property. Company Bonnie. Now, 
I remember that there's a race with Bonnie. I don't remember if it's this mission, though. When you're riding close to a companion, you can hold A to match their speed. To your right is the general store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. As you can see, it's a pretty big ranch, so it's kind of the settlement that a town would grow around. And here's I would the assume. Corral. This one's for the horses. What do you think? I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. Now, where'd you get such an idea? First impressions are hard to erase. Yeah, he's still hurting a bit. You can see him favoring his ribs. That's the train station. Things sure have changed line finally got finished bringing Ooh. in all sorts of new folk like yourself is that such a bad thing change is only good when it makes things better the coming of trains and barbed wire pretty much spelt the end for the old west so you even saw that with the uh, that model a over there paul built it himself when i was just a little girl A and fine here barn. we are, back at the house. Let's stop for a while before we head out on patrol. You'll get no complaints from me, Miss McFarlane. <laughs> now, hitching the horse is the best way, way, actually the only way of saving the horse that you have. And there are horses with different types of speed, and um, so the horse that you have can be very important depending on the quest. How about a cold drink, Mr. Marston? Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot, then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house, and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. A few hours later. Mr. Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. Good old rifle. If you guys remember my playthrough... Didn't mean to push you. You guys remember my playthrough of Call of Juarez. Oh, that's so beautiful. Reminds me when I would go camping in the mountains in New Mexico. Right. The rifle is what Follow I liked me. using. Keep your eyes peeled for anything suspicious. I mean, just look at that. It's the simplest thing in the world, but it just, it makes so you, much Mr. difference. Marston. I feel a lot happier someone's along with me. I feel a lot happier now I got a rifle. Well, with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition, we should make quite a team. Like, this would be a place you would like to go camping at, I would figure. Of course, where I currently live in Texas is a lot flatter, but about... An hour and a half in either direction, you can get terrain like this. Either in New Mexico or in uh, Look, those further damn east. rabbits are at the crops again. Get down and give me a hand, will you? Oh, 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 oh. Let's not clothesline myself now. Get your rifle out. It's about time these little thieves met their maker. Now we've got a little bit of an auto lock here, which is handy. And we will go anti-Elmer Fudd on these guys and actually shoot them. You're a good shot, Mr. Mars. That rabbit didn't stand a chance. Roll the rest of the property. So we start out small. We kill rabbits before we kill outlaws. Or lawmen, depending on uh, how we're feeling that particular day. Cover. 
and the ability to match their speed by holding the A button helps out a lot. It's not the rustlers stealing our cattle, it's the rabbits stealing our crops. It ain't never easy living off the land like this. Maybe you should move to a big city, become a lady of leisure. Oh, got the coyotes. Gotta go save those chickens. Where are they going? Aw, doggies. Ow! Bonnie! Just shot me in the side. Oh, okay. I don't want to shoot Bonnie in the head. Well, we got rid of the coyotes. I just wish we'd saved all the chickens. Let's go. I'll take you back to your room. That's okay, but that gives you a pretty good idea of how combat's going to work out. You know, you can actually handle a rifle. It's something I've had a little experience in. Maybe Bill Williamson did get lucky after all. Luck didn't really come into it, miss. You're a useful man to have around the ranch, that's for sure. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. We'll do whatever we can to help you. I sure appreciate that, Miss McFarland. This is you, Mr. Marston. All right. So we'll go ahead and hitch the horse. Thank you for your help, Mr. Marston. Makes me kind of happy I saved your life. Get some sleep and I will see you in the morning. Good night, Miss McFarlane. Thank you for that additional gunshot, miss. Appreciate it. You can sleep in the bed in your room to save your game. Which is a rock star staple. If you sleep, you will wake up six hours later. You can also pick up extra ammo from the trunk in your room. So this is basically a home base. Current Deadeye level, one of three. So we have Deadeye, which is going to come oh so handy. So, we'll go ahead and save the game. And let's go ahead and... Man, 2005 was the last time I played this game. Holy crap, that was 12 years ago, guys. We will go ahead and go over this one. And that should do it for the day. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the first episode of Red Dead Redemption. Uh, we got a long way to go and an epic story to tell. But if you guys liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.